All right, guys, so another really easy video today. Um, this is going to be over the error code that appears when you try to play an out-of-region game generally. For me, it's uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on this PS3. Uh, it's a new one I downloaded because I lost the old one. It'll come up with the you cannot play this game with the current video output setting, and it'll give you that error code right there. So the only way, there's actually two ways, let's go ahead and show you the first way really quick. It actually involves changing some video settings, which occasionally works for some people if they're not trying to uh, play an out-of-region game. Let's say you're trying to play a blessed copy on your, you know, PAL uh, PS3, and it gives you this error code, here's what you need to do, and it should work. Um, this right here can be done on OFW consoles as well as CFW consoles. But when this doesn't work, like obviously for me here, because like I said, out of region game, I'm trying to play the blessed copy on my uh, TV I have downstairs that I use for retro gaming, which is like it puts out at I think 480p. Um, actually, yeah, it does put out at 480p because that's what we're going to be checking in the SFO editor here in the next video. But um, yeah, so anyways, that kind of just displays, you know, what goes on there, what happens, what to do. To fix this, like I said, if you're not trying to play an outer region game, so we'll go ahead. We will uh, stop this video here, and we'll jump onto the computer. We'll get the SFO, the param.sfo file edited. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, guys. We'll be right back. All right, so here comes the second part of the video where we actually have to go in and edit the SFO file. Um, if you're not sure how to get that, you can either you can use a USB and use MMOS, which is inside of Multiman. Uh, it's just Multiman in a operating system like you know your your desktop layout or your laptop layout, similar to that. Uh, really easy to use, really easy to copy files. Uh, if not, you can FTP. If you don't know how to FTP, see my other video on how to FTP with Multiman uh, using a static IP. Um, anyways, once you um, figure out a way to to get that file, it's actually, you just click on the game title, go into uh, PS3 underscore game, and it'll be right there a couple files down, and it'll say param.sfo. So... See where did that go? No, nope, we don't actually want to go there. We wanted to go. And then we'll delete that. And we'll actually just minimize that. Alright, so now uh, I'll have this, and I don't know why you're not there. And you're not there. And you're not there. Sorry, it just kind of bugs me. All right, so we'll go into tools, which you guys probably won't have the same uh, setup as I do. So, SFO edit. And go ahead and double click to open it. It is it does say it's a beta, uh, beta build. It works perfectly fine. It works wonderfully. So, um... Up here, desktop. All right, so as you can see, it fills in everything for us already. We need to do two things. Save it. And then actually, give me one second here. Grab my other flash drive. All right, now let's go see if that's saved. Param.sfo. All righty. So now we are going to uh, hop off the computer again because we are done. That's literally all you have to do to fix this. Um, but again, it's homebrew. You have to be running a jailbroken PS3. You cannot do this on uh, your, you know, your standard OFW. 
bought from Walmart PS3. You've got to have it downgraded and jailbroken to be able to use this and edit this. So if you've bought a uh, PAL, or well, for PS3 it's BLES instead of BLUS, and your PS3 is not jailbroken, you will need to either jailbreak your PS3 or return the game for the proper game. So we will go ahead and stop this, hop on the PS3, get this transferred, and launch the game. Video here, we'll, we will be using MMOS inside of Multiman. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now, of course, you will uh, here, plug that. You will have to have a flash drive for this. So we'll just hop on down here to Multiman. Which I'm not sure why Cobra mode is not enabled, but all right. All right, so file manager, MMOS. So we're going to go ahead and use uh, the right joystick to move the mouse. We'll click on PS3 root. And then we will use the left joystick to move that window out of the way. And click on dev USB 000. And actually, we won't move it out of the way. I was going to open up two windows, but don't really need to so click on it with X press circle hit copy go back now we're gonna go to HDD 0 we're gonna go into games Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and you should actually go ahead and uh, delete PS3 update if you have that in any of your games, just to be on the safe side so your console doesn't get updated. Um, so anyways, PS3 game, there's our Param SFO. I always like to delete. And then just click on one of these PNGs or other files. Just make sure it's not one of the folders. Circle. Paste. Param SFO. Alrighty. So because we are switching a file inside of the game, we're going to go ahead and turn off the system. And so now we're going to be able to use either, um, either ratio we want that we weren't able to use before. So let's go ahead and turn the system back on. So I mean, yeah, this is really how easy it is. It, it doesn't get any easier than this. All right, so we'll hop on over here to game. Oops. Oh, and look, and now Cobra mode is magically enabled, which it wasn't before. PlayStation 3, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Yes, I want to close the browser. And would you look at that. And now it's going to prompt me for that update I've been trying to do. Yay. Which I'm not sure. This does it to some PS3s. It's not going to do it to all. Um, so if you're one of the lucky ones and you find this video, this is how you fix that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, Go ahead and subscribe, like the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, feel free to comment. Um, check out my other videos. You might find something you like. Other than that, thanks for watching. See you later.